the corner. So the less input that we have on the steering, the less opportunity that we have to increase the resistance. Because thinking about really poor traction conditions, the more steering that we do, it increases the likelihood that we're not going to make it to where we're trying to go. And again, in dry conditions that we have today, it really uh, can give a false impression of uh, some of the techniques. So we can get away with a lot of bad habits when traction's good. So come over to the left a little more. There you go. And now, as we start climbing up the hill, start feathering in just a little more throttle. Traction control's coming in. There you go. And as soon as we input just a little more throttle, it gets all four wheels to move in unison. So as we were coming up the hill last time, we didn't talk about it, however, we were doing this, we were paralleling the fall line. So by staying a little closer to the left-hand side here, there you go, and now just gently ease in a little more throttle. So everything that we do with the controls, think smooth and gentle. And so that doesn't mean you have to go slow or fast, it's just making the transition from slow to fast should be nice and gentle and smooth. So we want to avoid abrupt changes because as we lose traction and have very abrupt and sudden changes, we can very quickly change where the vehicle is relative to the obstacles. So as we're coming in among these trees, we really want to make sure that we're centered well in the trail. And so go ahead and turn a little bit to the left. You have a little more room than you think. So what really helps to orient the vehicle in the center of the trail is if you can look ahead and you can see in the center of the trail there's a little bit of vegetation that remains. Envision that continuing right underneath the center console. So it will be ever so slightly offset to your right. And that will be a good point of reference. Again, there's no guarantee that the trail is actually wide enough, but it's a good starting point. So let's make this left-hand turn again. So we want to wait until we align the door right about there. There you are. And then we don't want to forget about this tree in front of us. So nice and slowly come by. You can see we have our headlights on. So in this instance, it helps us to gauge a little bit of distance. Absolutely. Remember what we did. This is what we do S1, right? Exactly. Now let's stop here for a second. If we can all the way to a stop, there you go. If we continue on this line, we're aiming for those rocks. Mm -hmm. So clearly that's not where we want to go. So probably a couple feet over to the left. So we'll have to adjust our line so we're not aiming towards the rocks, but you're correct, we'll go into S1. And then the difficult part is really taking your feet away from the pedals. So we're going to rely on the engine compression and hill descent control to ease us into the hole. And then the engine compression should pull us most of the way, if not all the way, out of the hole. So we really want to refrain from using the pedals until it becomes absolutely necessary in this circumstance. So once you're ready, off the pedals, a little more to the left. And now go ahead and straighten out and try and keep the steering wheel nice and straight. There you go, despite what you feel on the steering wheel. There you go. There we are. And we're starting to feel a little hesitation, so go ahead and input just a touch of throttle. There you go. Nice. So now we can use the brake as we have the traction and we're concerned with these trees that we're coming in between. So again, we have rocks at the base, so we don't want to cut the corner to our right. Very difficult to see from where you're seated. There you go. And now go ahead and straighten out, because we're now past this tree to the left. So there we are. Let's pause here a second. For the fall line. Right? Exactly. So something else to consider, we have all these trees around us. We want to make sure that we don't hit any of them, of course. But anytime you come to a hill, whether you're going up or down, you want to kind of get a lay of the land so you know what's around you in your immediate vicinity. Also, you want to develop a contingency plan. So where would we put the vehicle if suddenly we lost all traction? Here, we have a nice little open area, almost in a direct line yeah. uh, from where we're going anyway. That's a luxury we don't have every hill that we come to. So you really want to assess those things 
prior to going up or coming down a hill. So now that we've thought about all of those things, at your ready, we'll come off the brake, hill descent control is still on, okay. we're in first gear, and we'll make our way a little bit more over to the left, so at your ready. So for the, for the fall line, you're closest to where the vehicle would go if it Correct, was. yeah, so okay. if you could envision dumping out a bucket of water at the top of a hill, following where that water would go okay. is what we're trying to achieve. And obviously, you're limited by the width of the trail and then potentially some yeah. other kind of obstruction, yeah. etc. So, right. clear as mud, right? <laughs> there you go. Well, that's the biggest difficulty is that no two hills are alike. Yeah. So you have to evaluate each as its own entity. Still no need for the brake. Uh -huh. yeah. There we go. And now we can start using the brake as these obstacles come up a little more abruptly. So now we'll start to make a more aggressive left hand turn, thinking about where that left rear tire is. We want it square on top of the mogul. So ever so slightly back to the right. There you go, that's plenty. And now over to the left. So with our steering input, we really want to make much smaller changes in direction. There you go. So we'll go into drive. There you go. So currently we're kind of headed off to the right a little bit. We'll have to make a little bit of an adjustment to the left. The trail actually curves a little bit to the left. It's not entirely straight. But at this point what we're trying to do is minimize the rolling resistance relative to the obstacle that we're climbing up. So currently we're straight relative towards that. So go ahead and keep the steering wheel as it is, come out of the brake, and now really heavy on the brake. There we go, and just ride the brake forward so we can gently place that left hand tire down into the hole. There we go. And now let's make our correction over to the left so we can square up relative to the next obstacle. A little bit of throttle as we start to feel that resistance increase. And now go ahead and straighten out and heavy on the brake. And you can use this skinny tree as a nice point of reference, so we'll just aim towards that. There you go. So just keep that steering wheel straight. A little bit of throttle. There you go. A little bit of throttle again to come up the mogul. And then into the brake. There we are. A little bit of throttle again. Stay with it. A little more, a little more. And now a little bit of brake. There we are. A little bit of throttle again, stay with it. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. And now right about there in the brake. There we go. And keep going straight towards this tree until we get all four wheels over the map of the obstacle. There you go. Stay with the gas. So as soon as we started to come out of the gas, you feel the vehicle roll backward. Roll because it's exactly. still not quite over. Exactly. Yeah. Here we were losing our momentum. That's exactly it. Nice. And the added difficulty as we got closer to the end of that section, the slope increased too, so we had even more resistance to work against. So let's pause here a second. So we'll use this hill for an exercise we call a failed hill attempt. So the idea is that traction is not good enough for us to make it over the crest of the hill. So what should we do? It seems like you would want to ease back or okay. put it into maybe neutral. Oh, okay, that, okay, that's a good thought. All right, uh, maybe not neutral per se, 